All right. Good afternoon, guys. Uh, back at it again with another MLB DFS slate. It was a three-game slate yesterday. Didn't make a video on it. I also had a lot of running around, and I was up till 4 a.m., so I'm fucking exhausted. Um, let's just dive right into today's slate. What do, before we do that, what are your thoughts on today's slate? I mean, it looks like there's 10 to 12 offenses in play. And there's some good arms, too. I mean, it's going to be some tough cuts today, I think. Yeah, this is just a ginormous slate. It's unbelievable. So it, it's one of those slates, too, that there are certain stacks that don't project out the best, I guess you can say. And you can still play them in your lineups, and it's not the end of the world. It's kind of one of those you can get a little different and be okay. So this is what the pitcher's tool is saying right now. Strider, Cole, Sonny Gray, Corbin Burns, Logan Allen, and it kind of drops off over here. Where are you thinking? Because to me, there's only about like three to four people in play. Yeah, so I do like the studs. Strider, Cole look pretty good, decent spots here. Uh, I don't like Gray as much just because he's only $500 cheaper. I'd rather just pay up for Cole or Strider. I, mean, I wish he was like 10K flat. I'd be much more inclined to play Gray. That's why I think Burns is getting so much ownership at 10K because um, you actually have that differential of $1,000. He's in a pretty good spot here against Kansas City. He's I don't know, not good. <laughs> um, what else? I like Gore a little bit just because the Mets haven't been able to hit the ball in, I don't know, four weeks. Uh, and he's pretty good. Uh, Perez plays Oakland, so, you know, you could probably land on him even though he hasn't looked all that great. But he does provide some salary rel relief if uh, you want to pay up for some of the top bats. And that's probably about it. I don't really want to go too much further down the line because I do think some of these studs hit the 50s, 60s today. No, no Tyler Anderson. Absolutely, absolutely not. You guys banned for life. Especially um, against Cleveland, they just never strike it out. Oh, yeah, true. Um, Strider and Cole look pretty good. Not guy would almost always eat, but they look good. Um, yeah, I agree with the Sunny Gray thing. Rather have him at 10K flat. You can pay 500 more and get Cole. Mackenzie Gore has been amazing this season. I think he had like one bad game, but other than that, he's looked good, and the Mets are just terrible. Um, Martin Perez is interesting at 9-2, kind of like you said, to salary salary relief. Plus, you can get better bats, good matchup against Oakland. He's only projected for 7%. Corbin Burns at 10K versus Kansas City is projected to be the highest owned pitcher at 23%. So it goes Burns, Cole, Strider. Perez. Kyle, no, Kyle Bradish at 10%. Oh. I was just reading off ownership against Pittsburgh. I miss this... that. I don't, I don't really like that. <laughs> Did this tool forget that Pittsburgh is actually a good baseball team? <laughs> I mean, he is 6K. All right. Do not play Kyle Bradish. I mean, <laughs> Unless you want to play him at 6,200 and just freaking go nuts with your bats. Sure. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Kopek, no. Snell, no. There, There's really, I mean, Minnesota's meh. If you want to go Drew Smiley, but 9,800 to me seems like a bit of a stretch where you can go Perez at 92. This is one of those slates that you can just pay up and still get some decent bets just because of the amount of 
games that there are and the different like leverage spots. So if it were me, and I know you'll say the same thing, just pay up, pay up for pitcher. If you want to save a little bit, go with Perez from Texas. Yeah, I just think the win share percentage is just so high when you're playing the A's. That extra six points matters a lot. Um, if he can go six, it's even better. But he has looked pretty bad, I will say. So mm -hmm. I, I probably won't land on Perez myself. No, that makes sense. That's just – if you want to take a shot in the dark at that. Uh, let's move on to sticks. So we have a core slate, <clears throat> which is always fun. This is what it's saying right now. There's just, you know, so many games today and so many different spots that you can go to. Where are you landing? What's, like, sticking out that maybe isn't? I mean, everyone and their mother is going to play Philly, but where over here are you thinking? I'm honestly surprised that Philly's ownership isn't above 20. Um, usually we get a Coors game. I'm guessing that's just because this slate is so massive. But um, I think they're in a decent spot. They're probably not my number one. I think Atlanta is going to be my number one today against Bassett. I can just see him giving up three today, three bombs, eight runs, something like that. Um, and then I like this uh, – Boston St. Louis game stack that that stochastic had second and third ballpark pal also has them pretty high up there in the fantasy point projections. Um, other than that, I mean, there's still so many other teams in play. I like the O's Yankees, Milwaukee, Houston, Colorado, and the Dodgers are all in play for me and they're, all the way up and down the board, honestly. Yeah, like I was saying, there's just so many games today. And it's not like these stacks are, like, super close to each other in terms of ownership. Like, just an example, the Astros against the White Sox facing Kopech, their ownership share is 8%. I know Houston hasn't been amazing. I don't even know their record. I just remember seeing stuff on Twitter that they haven't been playing the best and their record isn't as great. But, I mean, and plus against the White Sox, they should just score, like, 15 runs easily. So, I kind of like Houston. I, I do like Atlanta just against Bassett. That was a good point. I kind of gave you a look for a second, like, really, and then I saw, like, Bass, and I'm like, okay, makes sense. And they've been pretty hot. Ozuna somehow turned it around and just been mashing the ball. Philly at Colorado, yeah, there's power there. Kind of, you know, anytime there's a game at quarters, they're going to play those guys. I don't think we want to do Milwaukee again. <laughs> I prefer not to, but, you know, they're due, probably. You know, and Pittsburgh is pretty low on here, and I don't know why, but Pittsburgh is a pretty good team this season. I wouldn't mind getting to a couple bats of them. Kyle Bradish, I mean, get out of here with 10% ownership. <laughs> Like, no. Texas against Oakland. I always say this every video. If Oakland is on the slate, take a stack of the team that Oakland's facing. I can go on and on and on about stacks today. There's just so many good plays today. Yeah, when you have uh, 12 to 13 teams with a round of five run total or higher, there's just going to be so many spots you can attack. Um, you just got to hope you land on the right ones. Uh, honestly, might not be – I mean, the full stacks are probably still going to land at the top because there's going to be high scoring on the slate. But like a 4-2-2, 4-3-1 type day, just to get some more exposure to other teams might be in play. And I, and I was going to bring that up too. Definitely get a little 
you know, this isn't a slate where, I mean, I guess you could do a Phillies, Colorado stick, but I mean, no, just because of the game environment. <clears throat> but I mean, there's just so many other teams playing today that you can definitely get a little different. And instead of doing whatever stick you normally do, just get to a couple different bets today because there's just so much here. Yeah, uh-huh. I, I wouldn't worry about ownership all too much. I think maybe the Phillies guys like Schwarber and Turner and Harper are probably high some guys on the slate. Mm-hmm. Maybe maybe 20, 25%, maybe higher. Schwarber is usually like 3K. They just keep pricing at 3K. I don't know why. But uh, those are the only guys you have to really worry about baiting or tailing. Mm-hmm. Are you ready to get into home runs? Yeah. All right. Lead us off. So my three home run calls for today. My first one is Devers from the Sox. Going to go Austin Riley from the Braves. And then Trey Turner from the Phillies. That's some power. I'm going to go Ozuna. Facing Bassett, I'm going to go Jordan against my White Sox. And then Tristan Cassis from Boston. Wayne writes 41, his arm's going to fall off. So, yeah, I'm not really sure what to expect from him today. Um, all right. The new segments. Um, here we go. Day two. What are we doing? Hit uh, all stack types. Let's go. What are you thinking? Contrarian or balanced? Probably balanced. Okay. You want to lock anyone in or just skip this? Let's lock in a pitcher. Let's go. Let's go Strider. See where that puts us. Strider, Goldschmidt, Lemayhu, Arenado, Volpe, Judge, IKF, Yepes. <laughs> I mean, it's the, you still get the the good bats from those stacks, which is nice, but it's not. Eye popping. Scroll no, down. Let's definitely. see the optimal. Okay. I mean, Kinder Khalifa is definitely getting you zero. So you can switch them out. I didn't know that was a thing. If I'm being honest, I'm sure there's a a couple low two K guys that'll go up in the order stages for no reason. So. Mm-hmm. Or at least that's what I've been noticing recently. All right. Well, this is a lineup we're going to be playing. Day two of using the MLB lineup generator. Uh, this will be interesting. There, we, we have some good bets here. And kind of like what we were saying, too. There's a lot of shit that you can get to today. So this is definitely one of them. So, all right. Well, that'll be fun. I'll end up posting this on Twitter once I place it in the lineup or placing it in the contest. Um, all right. Wrap us up. Anything else we didn't get to or anything? No, I would just say, uh, sum up, summarize what we said so far. Um, pay up for pitcher. That would definitely not play. 10% owned Kyle Bradish. I don't know. That's got to that's gotta be just wrong in the data. Um, also, there's like 12 to 15 stacks that are actually like worthy of uh, being playable. So, you know, I wouldn't worry about ownership too much. No one should really be all that owned besides Phillies, maybe some cards. So, you know, just take a stand somewhere and we'll see you at the top.
Yeah.